back. Uh, we're at the shop today working on a van. Uh, been working on electrical today. I lost my temper. <laughs> oh my. And I know you're all going to tell me wrong what I did wrong, which I didn't really do wrong because I really didn't know where I was going to run the stuff. So I couldn't pre wire because I didn't know where stuff was going to go. But uh, I need to get one wire fished down through one of the columns and uh, it's for the overhead light for above the kitchenette or kitchen counter and uh, I'm trying to run a little I don't know if it's 14 gauge wire down and to a switch and you know I'm trying to fish it down through there and I get one wire down hey went simple as can be try to run that second wire down through there <laughs> yeah it didn't work so after farting around with that for about a half hour I finally lost my temper and threw a fit so oh well um uh, so anyway, I did that. I lost my temper on that. But before I did that, I, I was working up here in the top corner. Uh, I had this junction box uh, for circuit breakers, and I had that up on top, up in the. Uh, let me see here. Let me look right up about right there, and the battery or the charge controller was down about right here, and I was going to put the uh, inverter over here. And I got to thinking about it. I don't have one of these in the truck. I've got one in the truck for off the generator, but off the inverter stuff, I don't have one of these. So I got to thinking, I don't need one of these. Uh, in the truck, the uh, electricity comes off the batteries, comes up into the truck, into the inverter, and then the inverter, I've got uh, extension cords running over through the walls. I mean, it's built in. Goes through the walls up to an outlet and that's the outlet I use for things like my TV and, and uh, oh, when I, re when I run the crock pot and whatnot else. And I got to think, there's no circuit breakers on that. So I got to think, why overkill, you know? So I decided to take this down. I took this down, I took the charge controller and I moved it up and then the, uh, the uh, inverter, I mounted it where it's at. So up on the top there's solar panels and right, yeah, let's see, I can't quite see the t screen, but right in this area, you got cables come around loop for loop. And they come into the charge controller. From there, they come down to here. This will go on the batteries. Okay, when I get all my batteries hooked up, I've got all these little short things running from battery to battery. Uh, I think I need to make a few more of those. But anyway, from the batteries will come up to the inverter, and from the inverter, I've got uh, plug-ins plugged in and. Romax, regular, you know, household wire, steepled in. It ain't gonna go anywhere. It's gonna run in. That goes down. One's gonna go down the driver's side wall. And one's gonna go down the passenger side wall. The driver's side, pretty much the only thing that's gonna be on the passenger or the driver's side is the TV. And there's a separate outlet that'll be for like vacuum cleaners, things like that, uh, uh, a fan, things like you know. So there won't be much on that driver's side as far as power. The passenger side, though, um, that's where the kitchen is, and uh, that's where the uh, induction stove uh, uh, I'm going to put in. Uh, it'll be a little induction stove. It'll probably be a portable one I can just set up on the counter when I'm not using it, set it back underneath. And I, I think I'm going to put in a, a propane, a, a single propane stove and a single induction stove. And reason being, I can go back either way. I, when it's a beautiful sunny day, I can run electric and run the crock pot or run the induction stove for frying or cooking and boiling or whatever. And when it's cloudy and I don't want to use up my electricity, I'll have back, a propane as a backup. And the other thing propane will be in there for is uh, for heat. I plan on getting one of those, uh, I think it's a Wave 3, um, been highly recommended by several people. So I think I'm going to get a Wave 3 and run it off of propane. And then, um, and then I've still got to run one for the, um, actually, I don't even know. Let me check this. How easy is that? <laughs> There's the refrigerator. Just plug it right in, run the cable over here, kind of make it nice and pretty. I don't even have to run a cord for that. Just plug it straight in. So anyway, that's what I've been doing today, and uh, I opened the gate, 
got some acreage out there and got cattle on the on the acreage. Well, they've ate a lot, most of the grass that's only about that tall. And they're sitting there picking and grinning, trying to find some grass to eat. And I got to think, I don't feel like mowing the yard. So I just opened the gate and let them come in here and graze around in the yard. <laughs> so uh, why make me work? Let them, let the, give them some food, right? So anyway, um, we've got a few calves. We've got, uh, I think we got five new calves and probably a couple more on the way. So uh, let's see, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight cows and one bull. We got five calves. We got three more calves on the way, probably. So, those aren't my cattle. They're my neighbors, and uh, he runs his cattle over here on my property just to keep the weeds down and mow the grass, basically. So, uh, he he gets uh, free food, and I get free mowing. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I don't run my own cattle uh, simply because I'm not here to take care of them. You know, and anything goes wrong with them, they need some kind of doctoring, or they get out, whatever. I'm I'm in Ohio. It's uh, kind of hard to come back from Ohio to put the cow in, fact, you know, back in. So um, I just let my, my neighbor run his cattle over here. And they do pretty good. They're damn good lawnmowers. So, so anyway, that's about all I got for today. Uh, I'll let you go. Now that I've calmed down a little bit, I think I'll get back into work and try to run that wire again. <laughs>